What's up everyone, Spencer Harris here. Today we're gonna to be doing six things under $16 that you need as a filmmaker that you can pick up at Home Depot, Amazon, Target, hardware stores, pretty much anywhere. I'm gonna post all the links for everything below and there you go, strap yourselves in, let's do it. Number one on the list today is gonna to be spring clamps. Now these might seem simple and super basic, tons of uses for these things, but here's the trick. You don't wanna buy them at any camera stores or anything like that. I find these at Home Depot for 99 cents a piece. I've been to big camera stores where they charge four, five, six dollars uh, a piece for these, and it's just, you know, just go pick them up at Home Depot. Right now I've got a light that you'll see at the end of the episode clamped up on one of my light stands with two of these. So go get yourself some spring clamps. Don't pay more than 99 cents for these guys, but super, super useful. Have them in your kit. You never know when you're gonna need them, and when you do, you'll be glad you have them. I don't even think Amazon has them that cheap, so just buyer beware. Get them at Home Depot, 99 cents, guys. Off to the next one. And number two, extension cords. I know what you guys are probably thinking. Yeah, obviously, I know, they're extension cords. But guys, again, don't overpay for them. I picked these up at Home Depot. It's a flat cord, which makes it easier to tape down when you're on set. Um, eight feet as well, so link below. I think I picked this up for $8 at Home Depot. I think I have like four or five of them. I don't even know how many, but um, always good to have, always good to have in your gear bag, uh, some extension cords. Eight feet, three prong, three outlet. Make sure they're three prong though, guys, because you know, we've all been in that situation where you have a three prong cord and all you have is a two prong outlet and what are you gonna do? It's three to two and just doesn't, it doesn't three prong into just, and number three brings us to this husky tote. That's fun to say. Husky tote. Husky tote. Husky tote. Husky tote. This, what's it good for? Your H4N. If you've ever done audio on a set, you've got your boom pole, you've got your XLR going into your H4N. You don't, you know, you've got to press stop and record on that thing. Would, you don't, at least I've never had a nice place to put the H4N. So this, just put the H4N right in here, clip it on your belt, and it's right there. Done. I think this was seven dollars, seven or eight dollars. If you've got an H4N and you know you you find yourself in that same problem, get one of these Husky totes. It's even got the clear front, so you can just look down, see if you're recording or not. This thing is a lifesaver. Get one. Number four, we have a simple black bed sheet. Guys, this comes in handy so often. You can use it on set to hide something that you don't necessarily want in frame. You can you know, use it as a backdrop for portrait photography. You can use it for product photography, interviews, all sorts of things. Super handy. I got this one at Target, I think for $10. It's a size queen. That way, you know, it gives me a little bit more room to work with. Uh, black bed sheet. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have? Super simple, right? Black bed sheet. And that brings us to number five, guys and gals, bongo ties. These things are not just awesome to play with, but also super, super useful. I actually have my extension cords wrapped with these things just to keep them nice and tidy. I'm finding new ways to use these things like every day. They're awesome to have just in your pocket, wear them as a bracelet, do whatever you want. But trust me, if you don't have them already, get you some bongo ties. And that brings us to number six. This is the only item on the list that is actually, I think, over $10. This one comes in at 16, hence the name, six things under $16. This is a small little, what they call uh, under cabinet light, I think. I found this at Home Depot. Um, it's gonna mess up my lighting setup a little bit here, but I'm using this right now with the spring clamps attached to a light pole, just to give me an, a little bit of extra fill here. All right. Perfect. So this is an under cabinet light. I picked it up at Home Depot for $16. I think they've come out with a new version of it, um, but nonetheless, it's it's got six little lights here. You can press it on, press it off, press it on, press it off. You can use this for all sorts of things. You can use it for lighting up someone in a car scene as the, you know, the dash light. You can use it, I've used it before as a laptop light. Camera's behind the laptop, put this, boom. And it just adds a little bit of fill here and there. You can add it to basically whatever you want just to give you a nice little, but it's battery operated, it's portable. So it's nice to really stick in some of those tight areas that, you know, you can't necessarily get a bigger light in. And, you know, it just provides you with it just a little bit of something. Pick one of these up, they're fun to have. And it's nice, you know, just laying around in your camera bag and, and sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't, but when you do, it's there. And that's it, everyone. That's all I got for you. Um, so anyway, um, please, if you can, subscribe. It's easy, it's just a click. It's just a click. And uh, like this video, comment, let me know you're here, say hi, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Oh, and next week, we're gonna be doing a comparison against the Zyun Smooth Q against the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we're gonna give away one of them, so I'll see you next week.